Hey, it's uh, Jeff Quinton here. Welcome back to the QuintonGroup.tv. And yes, I'm your host, Jeff Quinton. So, uh, interesting conversation that we're having right now with a buyer and a seller who is the same. Uh, it's a catch-22. Here's the situation. Um, we have a seller who doesn't want to sell their property without finding one that purchased first. And this always happens. It happens very often because here's the deal. When inventory is low, um, properties are selling fast. It means typically when inventory is low, demand is high. And yet a seller does not want to give up their home and become quote unquote homeless without finding another. The challenge that we have is that when a buyer finds a home that is a great property, great price, great location, everything fits and then they make a contingent upon them selling theirs. By the time they get theirs on the market and sold, many times the one that they're looking to buy can be sold from out, uh, from under them. So what do they do? So catch 22. So here's a couple ideas, a couple thoughts on how to create the perfect deal where you know that you're not gonna be homeless, number one. You can get the great buy on the one that you wanna buy, number two, and uh, sell to buy. Here's the deal. Basically, you can enter into getting your home on the market for sale. Let's say we get it on the market for sale, contingent upon you finding a property to purchase. So you market the property in the MLS, you market to the real estate community, we market to the buyers and says, hey, our seller wants to sell the property, here's their price, here's everything. However, it's a condition that they need to find a replacement property for themselves, say within two weeks or 30 days. Buyer comes in, says, yes, I like the property, they enter into an agreement of sale, then you as a seller need to go out and find a property within their time frame. Now, that buyer can still like either hang in there, give you the time frame you needed, or that buyer also many times has the ability to go out and find another deal as well in case your seller, let's say the seller is finding the right one or dragging their feet or whatever. So number one is get the home listed for sale, make a condition and contingent upon you finding a replacement property. Number one. Number two is, um, let's say that your home is on the market for sale. Go ahead and enter into an agreement on the next property you want to purchase contingent on the sale of yours, allowing that seller to still have their property on the market and it can still be marketed to other prospective buyers with a home sale contingency and a kickout clause. That simply just says they can still leave their home on the market for sale. In the event another buyer comes along, they come back to you as the buyer and say, hey, can you remove your home sale contingency? If you can't remove your home sale contingency, then they have the right to sell it to the next third party. If you do remove the home sale contingency, then we have to provide and prove to that seller that uh, we financially can move forward. Now, meanwhile, you wanna get all your ducks in a row with your lender in case that happens. So you gotta make sure. But again, if you price your property properly in the market today, we're going to sell it. So if it's priced right, your home can sell and will sell within 30 days. So you should not ever have a problem being able to be uh, in a fear of not being able to sell your home. If you're thinking of getting your home in the market and selling, start and buying another, you gotta start getting educated on where you wanna go and identify some properties to, to, for you to move to. So that's a couple tips where you can actually do both at the same time be protected and know you're going to get top dollar on the one you're selling, still be able to make a good deal on the one you're buying. So any questions you have, any thoughts, if you're thinking about selling your home, getting yours on the market, you want to know exactly how much buyers are paying, what the value is, uh, reach out, call me, 609-398-5333 or email us. As always, we look forward to our conversation always being the best of your day. Thanks for watching.